Welcome to BCMP Academy. Today we are going to make traffic lights using Raspberry Pi. So let's see what are the required materials for making traffic lights. Let's make a circuit first. So I'm going to take Raspberry Pi. I'm using Raspberry Pi 3. Totally we need 6 jumper wires. 3 for the GPIO and 3 for the ground. So I'm going to take a jumper wire and connect the female end with GPIO 2. Pin number 3 is GPIO 2. And pin number 5 is GPIO 3. And I'm going to connect the third jumper wire with G the pin GPIO 4. GPIO 4 is the seventh pin. Now we need to connect the wires to the ground. So I am going to take another jumper wire and connect it to the ground. Pin number 6 is ground. Pin number 9 is a ground. And 39th pin is a ground. Now let's take a breadboard. I'm going to connect all the LEDs, GPIO and ground pins. I'm taking the GPIO2 and Connecting it with a resistor of 150 ohms. Now I am going to connect a red color LED with the resistor. Let's connect the ground with the shorter end. Now we have done for the red LED. Now let's start for the yellow color LED. I am going to take GPIO3 for yellow color LED. I'm going to connect it into the breadboard, taking an another 150 ohms resistor, connect it as the same way we have did it for the red LED. connecting the ground to the yellow color LED. We have done it for yellow color LED. Now let's do it for green color LED. I am going to take the GPIO4 Now I'm going to take an another 150 ohms resistor. Just a minute. Okay. To 
connect a green color LED here. And I'm going to connect the ground with the green color LED. That's it. Let's program. Now let's program. First, I'm going to connect my Raspberry Pi. I'm using VNC Weaver to connect my Raspberry Pi. Now it's connected. So, I'm going to use Tony for writing my program. Okay, let's start. First, I'm going to import all the libraries I need. First, let's import GPIO. I'm importing GPIO from Raspberry Pi's library and assigning is it as GPIO. Now, I'm going to import time. Now let's set up the broadcam chip. I'm connecting to the broadcam chip. Next, we need to set all the GPIO pins. I'm going to set up the pin I need. I'm using GPA 2. I'm using GPA 3 also. And GPA 4 also. We should also tell that I'm going to use this as output. So I'm going to write O U T in caps. Now let's write if condition if loop actually so if it is true then gpio dot setup two First, I'm going to make this on. So true, true represents on and false represents off. Now, I'm going to use the library time and sleep it for one second. Not one second. Let's use two. Now, I need to off the red color LED. So. comma false the same for every pair pins time dot sleep I'm going to set one second for yellow color LED I'm going to set the third GPIO pin as on. 
then time dot sleep then I'm going to set one second for it now G P I O dot set up three and I'm going to off it. Now let's write the program for green color LED. Now I'm going to use the one second for it and the last is GPIO dot set up. I'm going to use fourth pin and the same for everything time dot sleep let us set 0 0.5 seconds for green color LED so now I'm going to off it now I'm going to set this off so I'm going to off this that's it Let's check the output.